did not go for a hike this morning. Someone slept in. I was awake from like 5.30 on. I could not go back to sleep. But we are about to go on a fun adventure. We're going over to the road to Hana, but we are mainly just going to do the Pee Pee Bla Trail. Uh, we haven't done that before in the past, so we're excited to go over and do that. So we're gonna get our steps in that way. And lots more, if we have time, we'll do more stops on the road to Hana, but if, if not, if we feel like we're done just from doing that hike, we can just come and come on home. Uh, but it will be fun to like, get banana bread along the way or some sandwiches. We haven't stopped at those food trucks that are over there, so maybe that would be somewhere we could stop for lunch. It is only 7.30, in, oh, 8 o'clock in the morning. We were hoping to be out by 7.30, but we're just trying to get an early start. And it's kind of looking like we're getting out of town on this good. side <laughs> at a good time. I think these clouds can move away really quick. And if you can see over here, it's blue skies over here on the coast. So the West Maui Mountains bring a lot of clouds in and they can kind of blow away by mid-afternoon. So I'm not worried about missing a day over here and we're gonna have a fun time over on the other side of the island. Who knows what we're gonna, I don't know, it's just kind of a fun thing to just go. And we have to just do a little, tip you can't just like oh I'm gonna put my swimsuit on and and go we have to like kind of prepare ourselves we're gonna stop and get some breakfast because we didn't want to waste the time at home to make something uh, we also have brought sandals that we're wearing now in the car tennis shoes to put on for the hike and like strappy sandals to wear when we get to waterfalls to kind of walk down onto the rocky shore and get into the waterfall we have towels we have sunscreen we have what else do we have a few snacks um, but then we are gonna just stop at the food trucks while we're over there. What other things do we have? Oh, I said our towels. Just kind of have to plan for more things. Like, you don't want to leave a bunch of stuff in the car. Yeah, you have to carry it all with you because cars get you know broken into over there, and so we have to pack it all in, pack it all out, you know, that all that kind of stuff. So let's head over to the other side of the island. <laughs> Back of a cute little country store because this one shouldn't have eaten the hula pie last night. Nope. Ice cream makes him have allergies the next day. So we have to get some Benadryl? Yeah. Correct? Yeah. And um, then we're going to keep on going. We're over in Haiku, I think. Wait, 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 Chase, come here. I want to get a photo in front of this cute little surf wall. we forgot to do, and we didn't do it in time, was we forgot to turn our Gypsy app on, and so we have no idea where we are. So if I've stopped somewhere and I've seen a waterfall or a lookout or whatever, I will take a picture of a sign if there's a sign so you know exactly where we have stopped. Otherwise, I have no idea. I don't know. We literally lost coverage right when I remembered about the Gypsy app, and it was just kind of too late to turn around. So luckily, so point number three. make sure you have your gypsy guide. Download we did it the first time and we it's came fun. with historical the, facts. And yeah, it's not like you're gonna get lost by any means, but there's no cell service. So if you are doing this for your first time, make sure you have the gypsy app and turn it on before you get to Paella. Like you won't get cell reception after that. And what was what else was I gonna say? Luckily we know that we're just going to a very well-known trail we don't know where that is <laughs> because again I have no GPS right now I have no way of knowing where it is in relation to where we are right now so I'm just hoping that it is well marked and I will tell you later if it is not so just that's my little tip for today get your gypsy app make sure it's logged in make sure you know your password and it's, make sure you do all that before it's entertaining. It tells you all yeah it'll history. yeah it is. Ooh, there's the rainbow trees. We're getting in here. This is fun. Still got your pearls hanging by my bed. Still got your lips on paper in the trash. I never knew love could be so sweet. I never knew it would stay. <laughs> 
Hey, you're just needing some love, huh? You are. Oh, you're a cute thing. Oh. Someone made fun of me for getting the apple fritter. But now, who makes it? Oh, just a little bite? That, that was about a fourth of the fritter. <laughs> Love like this would leave me in pieces. Oh, Emily, when did you fall out of love? This chocolate farm when we were here with the girls and saw the sign. I'm like, yep, we're stopping. It's a pretty cool place. It's a cool place. It and I like to support local. These are as, this is as local as it gets. So we are, he's checking to see what chocolates they have in stock today. So we got a sea salt one and a regular dark chocolate and this honeycomb. What do you think? Is that pretty good? It's really good. <laughs> it's really rich, I bet. Mm. I just want to try to get that honeycomb in there. Yeah. Ready? Wow. I guess I have to eat that piece right there, Oh, huh? come on. Okay, <laughs> we just made it to Hana and got south service finally and we have an hour left to get to the PB Bot Trail. I don't know why I didn't like map it before we ever even came. It is past Hana and we still have a little while. We're enjoying the road. He's having the fritter and we stopped at that um, cacao farm. Luckily we told the guy, he was like trying to give us the spiel, but you could tell he wasn't really like in the mood to give it. And we're like, it's okay. We've already heard this before. We've been here. And he's like, okay, good. <laughs> he was fine. He was nice. He was fine. He just was glad he didn't have to give the whole thing. And they weren't actually like making a ton of it right now. It's kind of off season. Then, so they didn't have any split cacao beans and you know, they couldn't really show the process like they could last time. So if you yeah, want to so see that, check out our Road to Hana video from last time we came because the whole process is pretty cool. I just want to give you guys an, <laughs> what it looks like on the other side of Hana. It's, <laughs> it's way different over here. I mean, this, the scenery is similar, but these roads are bumpy. We are definitely not going all the way around the island. There's a reason why, but we are pretty determined to get to the PP Bot Trail. I just don't know if I would have done it had I known how long it was going to take to get there or how narrow and um, bumpy this road was, correct? I'm game for it. No, no I'm game for it now. I do too. I'm not sunburned. I'm hot. Out of the bamboo forest comes the man who had to pee. <laughs> you have it so easy. This is probably the hardest thing I've done in a while. I can walk obviously like nine, ten miles, but hiking is a totally different story. And it's hard to have the camera out when it's really rough terrain like this. And it's slippery. 
And you don't have an air conditioning unit right behind you? He's being a douche. No, I'm just saying there's a big difference between... Well, there is a huge difference. Hold my hand. And it's really wet and slippery. And yeah, every time I put my sunglasses on, my, my lenses clog up because they're all wet, humid. But this right here is why you do it. <sighs> We're almost there. He said get to the bamboo forest and these little covered boardwalks and you're almost there. You can see it. It's right there. So close. Just got this river and have a little more trail and we'll be there. Okay, now we're bouldering through the river, hoping we can get right over there at the base of the falls. So we gotta go over this little scurry field through the river first. Okay, before I show you, stunning. That was hard. It's hard. I'm on my way now. Taking off my tank top, it's too hot, humid. But I feel like walking through here, it's like too sacred to talk loudly. <laughs> it's like so calm in here. Oh, and I love when the wind blows and you can hear them. I'm on my way right now. We want to go and find food, but we found this cute little beach. We just couldn't pass it up, and we, our legs are tightening up. But look how gorgeous. This is like very local beach. in our gas tank will get us to Paella, but we haven't had cell coverage for hours, so I have no idea. I mean, we know we're close to Paella, but... Um, this, this gas thing doesn't seem very accurate. Anyway, we're very hungry, 
straight. We're gonna take the first thing we can find to eat that's still open. Everything on Hawaii time is different, especially in these little teeny towns. I'm so tired and I'm so hungry. It was a great day. We're just really, really, really tired and really hungry. And this is what we look like fully fed. <laughs> Not much different, but we are much happier. And we were only one of two guests in that whole restaurant. So but it was good. It was, it was good. great food. The waiter was awesome. We chatted with him for quite a while because he had nothing else to do. There was a Mariners game on TV, so we watched that. So if you're in uh, well, Paella, Dolly's is a good place. Yeah, it's good food. But I think, hang on. But we also suggest Milagros. It's right there on the corner. Uh, we had, that's Mexican food. We had that last time with the girls. It was good. Everyone loved it. Great chips and salsa. Anyway, I always like to suggest um, places that we have eaten at and that are good, especially they're, you know, sometimes off the beaten path and not what everyone else is choosing. Like we saw Mama's Fish House and I was like, no, I don't want to do that. But I think that's going to be it for us tonight. Uh, we're very tired and we're already noticing our knees are starting to lock up every time we sit down. So we're gonna go home. Thanks for watching. Shower. We also just found out one of you is here in town, Gina. Hello. When you're watching these in the future, um, it was kind of fun to find out that you're here in town. Maybe we'll see you before you leave. And uh, anyway, good night. We're we're all Mauied out tonight. But we're not done yet, so come back for more.